How's it going, guys? Rhino here bringing you podcast number seven. Uh, this podcast was sponsored by Overdose of Sound. Their business is a pretty cool idea. They're a community-based music site where you can listen to a bunch of nice different genres and people can post their own music. I know some of you guys are EDM artists. You should check them out. They have a site. It will be in the description, and it's overdoseofsound.com. If you don't make music, they have some really nice songs on the front page of their site and a YouTube channel. Do you want to sponsor a podcast? Make sure to add me on Skype. My Skype is ryan.pat2, R-Y-A-N dot P-A-T-T-E-E-2. Add me on Skype and we can talk about you sponsoring a podcast. Also, I'm doing vo- voiceovers. If you are interested, add my Skype that I mentioned before. I'm happy to do intro, intros, outros, or anything of the sort. We can talk about it and it's completely free. Uh, we can discuss it over Skype, so please add me to talk about that. Our three topics today are, number one, networks only wanting money. Uh, someone posted a comment that I wanted to sort of post a two-sided response to. Uh, number two, I'm a money whore. People have been calling me money whores all the time. I want to, you know, lay that to rest. And number three, why worry about what other people do? All of these tie in together basically, sort of in a sense, but let's get down into it. Network's only wanting money. Basically, uh, on my freedom is a bad network video. Someone posted a comment, and then through a whole train of comments, you'll you'll basically never be able to find this comment. Um, someone posted something like, uh, freedom only wants the money. And uh, in response to someone else, I'm not sure the whole train of that, but that's basically what they posted. Like, freedom is only after the money. That's their whole, that's what they're driven f- from is the money. And then someone responded to that a little, a couple comments later saying, of course, they only want the money, they're a network. And so I wanted to kind of respond to this in two ways. Number one, yes, this person is right. Networks only want money. And uh, it's a very, very valid comment. Um, Networks only want money and it's what they're driven by. Uh, Any network, big or small, is driven by money, whether they make it seem like they are or not. Imagine the network I run is driven by money, um, similarly to Freedom, similarly to Full Screen, similarly to any other network out there. We're driven by money because we are essentially a business, and businesses need money, and that's one of the best ways to get money. Well, sorry, businesses are driven by money, networks need money, and networking is a good way to get money. So yes, uh, networks are driven by money. However, he has a point. The guy who posted the original comment. Freedom is only about the money. Imagine is not. Imagine, yes, the money is great. We, we love the money and our main goal is to make money. However, we care about our partners. We want to help our partners. We want to do what's best for our partners. Freedom is not like that. At least they don't, they don't seem like it. And that's where the problem lies. Freedom likes to screw over their partners, and they don't really care about their customer satisfaction rate, I guess is the best way to put it. We do. And I'm not here to advertise Imagine, by the way. I'm here to point out the problem with Freedom as well as other, other networks as well. You see, throughout all of the videos that I've posted on the Freedom issue, which would have been, I think, like three or four on my main channel, and then one or two on this channel. Um, I've gotten endless comments of similar or just as horrible things happening to other people. And it's it's just disgusting. And it it's all just money driven because Freedom saw an opportunity to make money for me because I was terminated. They could have paid me out, but they didn't. They chose not to. So they saw, ooh, we can make $7,000. Let's do it. And so they grabbed my $7,000. And they've done the same thing to a lot of other channels. And then there's also other things where um, a channel needs help with something and they're not willing to help with it. Which, you know, because it's a waste of time. They see, oh, this is a small channel. They don't earn much. I'd rather waste, I'd rather spend my time helping a bigger channel, etc. So yes, Overall, networks do mainly want money, and it, a network should be driven by money because usually a network driven by money will make the best options for the partners because the better o- the options, the more partners they get, the more partners they get, the more money they make. So the networks overall, like very generally, the best networks will generate the most income. 
but they need to still care about their partners and they need to not be willing to screw over their partners. We would never do that. We actually pay out on termination when we get paid. If we get paid, you get paid, basically. And we don't want to screw over our partners. And there are other networks that are like that, but there are other networks that are like Freedom where they want to make a quick buck. And so when you're talking about a network being bad, saying that networks care about the money isn't a bad thing unless they only care about the money, which is the case in this comment. Now, on to number two, which ties in. I am a money whore. Basically, people saying, I only care about the money on YouTube. Well, to start off, I should say that uh, from my YouTube channel itself, it's not even my YouTube channel, it's my friend's YouTube channel that, where he posts my videos, I don't make a single penny. Actually, that's not true. I make 1% one, 1 because... No. I make a percentage of the other cut. So basically my friend, my friend is on a contract. Um, and he earns that percentage and he earns all that money. And then there's a network cut and I get part of the network cut. Basically that's the only money I make from the channel. I don't care about the money on my channel because I post videos for fun and I haven't made a single cent from, um, the revenue generated from my channel. Um, in a while because, you know, it's it's not something I can do. It's something that YouTube screwed me out of because they decided to ban me for stupid reasons. I'm not going to go into that. But basically, I want to start off by saying that I don't even make money from my YouTube channel, really. Um, a tiny bit, but even then, like, it's like a couple cents a month. It's, it's basically nothing. Um, I make money from the network only. That's where my revenue is generated and I, you know... That's why I care about the money when it comes to networks. When it comes to YouTube, I don't care about the money. I mean, the money is nice. Yes, I care about the money. Sorry. It's not the only thing I care about. I'm not a money whore. People have this idea, and they've posted a lot of comments, where I'm this horrible money whore that only cares about the money, and I'm, I just have dollar signs for eyes, when that's clearly not the case. I am running a tournament, a Minecraft tournament right now that I'm not making any money off of. It's taking a lot of my time, and it's costing me money for to run the server. Uh, this this is a dedicated server, so that you know we have no problems with hosting and stuff like that. I am paying money. I'm literally losing money from doing this tournament, but I'm doing it because I love doing it. It's fun. Now, uh, I did make a video, uh, my last video, where I talk about uh, I'm starting an entry fee. The entry fee literally will only cover the server cost. Sorry about that. It will only cover the server costs. It won't cover anything else. It won't cover my meals. It won't cover my rent or anything like that. That's the only thing it'll cover. And so I'm not doing that for the money. I'm not taking a cut for the money. I'm taking a cut so I can cover the um, cover the server. Oh, geez. Sorry, guys. Got something caught in my throat. Ah, oh, that's better. But... I, I'm doing these things. I love making videos. I'm doing it for the fun of it. I've never let money determine what I do. Uh, other than paid promotions, but that was for a specific reason that, um, you know, I needed to determine who to promote, who to not promote. And it's something that a lot of YouTubers do, even if they don't care about the money. So that's kind of irrelevant. But uh, yeah, basically, I don't, I don't care about the money. It's not... Um, it's not a huge thing. It's not, a, it's not something that drives my decisions. It's just something that I like to get. And I would love to do YouTube full time. I never will be able to directly because of YouTube, uh, having a rule where you can't earn money from other channels, which sucks. But, um, I, if I can get my network big enough, it'd be awesome if I could do YouTube full time. That would be amazing. I would love it, and it would be like a, a dream job, but like I'm just hoping to get there one day, but that doesn't mean I'm driven by the money. I just hope to get there one day, but I'm not only focused on the money. I love making videos for you guys. I love having fun with it. I love playing video games. All of this is just fun for me. I would put a lot more work into my videos if I cared that much about the money, but I don't. I just do this for fun, which brings me to my third topic. 
Why worry about what others do? If I was a money whore, who the fuck cares? If I bought my videos, who the fuck cares? If I am a Democrat, who the fuck cares? I'm not, by the way. I'm actually independent. But basically, I've had people bashing me or my channel for numerous reasons, a whole uh, complex of reasons that don't even make sense. Why does it matter what uh, what I do with the money that I make from the, from the channel, which I don't actually do, but like, what does it matter if I'm a money whore? If I am a money whore, what the fuck does it matter? All that should matter is the entertaining entertainment in my videos. Either it's good, you like it, you watch my channel, or it's not, just go away, don't post a comment, never come back to my channel. Simple as that. If um, you don't like that, if I botted my subscribers in my videos, which I don't. I mean, it's pretty obvious that I don't. I've already, like, completely destroyed all the arguments in another video. Um, but, like, let's say I let's say I did bot. Let's just say I botted my subscribers, my views, my likes, everything. I botted everything on my channel. So fucking what? It doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect you in the least. Um, once again, all that should matter is my content. And either you like it, you watch it, or you don't, just don't watch it. This is something that bothers me because it's not something that's just target targeted at me. It's something I see across the whole spectrum. People constantly bashing others for their uh, channel, for, for caring about money, for their channel looking botted, for their political views, for their sexual orientation. Why does it matter if it doesn't affect you? My sexual orientation, I'm straight by the way, but my sexual orientation should not affect you. My political views should not affect you. My religion, or lack thereof, because I'm an atheist, should not affect you. And it doesn't affect you. If I make a, if you love my uh, gaming videos, but you are a Christian and you hate atheists, simply watch my Minecraft videos. That's it. I don't talk about atheism in my Minecraft videos. I talk about Minecraft and the game itself in my Minecraft videos. Focus on that. Just don't watch the videos that pertain to atheism or politics if you don't like them. This is something that bugs me about everybody. Is they always care what other people are doing. I have been, personally, I have been, because of my network, I have seen uh, uh, many botted channels before. When I go to a channel, if, uh, I mean, I have to look for if they're botting for network reasons. I, I can't partner channels that bot that would be detrimental, but... Um, I, if I notice someone bots, I don't care. It doesn't affect me. I have seen probably a thousand or more botted channels, and I've never posted a comment once saying that I think someone bots. And that's because I, I, I'm speculating. I think someone bots. I don't know. And there's no evidence against that they do bot. It's just speculation. And it doesn't affect what kind of content they make. It doesn't affect how good their channel is. It doesn't affect who they are as a person. So, seriously, just leave other people alone. Only focus on the things that actually affect you. If I make a video saying that gays are diseased and disgusting and you are gay, make, you can post a comment. Especially if I make an argument saying um, gays are disgusting because they... Lo love molesting children, which is factually incorrect because there's no correlation between homosexuality and pedophilia. But if I make a statement like that, please, please, please post a comment saying what's factually wrong with it, not anything else. By the way, I need to say I don't think gays are disgusting. I have, I, I support, I'm consider myself LGBT supporter. Like, I, I support the gay movement, gay rights, everything like that. I need to just say that because it came across as slightly homophobic. I was simply making that argument because of other people I've seen that are disgusting and homophobic. But, yeah. Just leave, leave each other alone. Worry about yourself, not others. That's about it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe.